users and groups. As an IT administrator, you are tasked with setting up a computer in the support office. It will be used for three different employees, each with unique role and responsibilities. So Sylvia needs to be able to perform all actions on the PC, so she's an administrator. Scott needs to be able to back up and restore files, but should not have any other rights above those. Okay, noted. Then Jade needs normal access to start the PC run application, so Jade is just a user. Alright, so we've got here the details, so let's start adding those. So what it says is click on start, so let's go and start, and then write computer management. Double click on computer management, then it says click on local users, so we've got here users and groups. So let's add the, let's start by adding the new user, so let's scroll down. The name is Sylvia, so I'm just going to copy and paste easier. Um, it says add the full name, but I can't see a surname for her, so I'm just going to add the same thing. Um, she's an admin. And then the passwords, they all got the same password. However, you have to prompt them to change it. So what we're going to do is, after adding the password, make sure you have ticked this box where it says user must change the password at next logon. Click create then let's go to scott so i'm gonna do the same thing add the name i've noticed there is no surname as well the description he's in the backup um, section the password it's the same thing so let's copy and paste and also you're gonna prompt this person to change their password as soon as they log in then let's add the last person which is jade Or Jed, I'm not sure how would you pronounce this name. He's a user. And then he's got as well the same password as everybody else. So let's paste it and then make sure this box is ticked. So now let's double check that they have been added. So I can see them over here. So we've added them correctly. Then it says add those people to the correct groups. Okay, so let's go double click on groups. So we're gonna add Sylvia to the administrator. So add to group. She's not here. So what I'm gonna do is click on add. And now I'm gonna type her name. Sylvia. I'm gonna click on okay. And now that she's here, I'm gonna click apply, then okay. Then we've got um, Scott supposed to be in the backup operations. So let me add him there. So click on add. Let's write his name, click on OK, apply, then OK again. Then lastly, we've got Jade or Jed, that he's a user. So let's add him to the user group. Um, he's actually over here. So let's see, let me try to click on add just to double check. OK, so he's already there. So we, we don't need to apply because he's already in the group. We just click on OK. And now let's score the lab. We've got hundreds.